you know, the existence of a parallel market in Zimbabwe is, is, is baffling. Uh, 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 but maybe one could understand, but, but it's still truly, truly baffling. Our fundamentals are strong. We have a current account surplus. We've had that for the last five years. I don't remember that happening in Zimbabwe since 1980. And most countries uh, will kill for that. We're not, right now, we're on a, on a, on a strong growth tra trajectory. We grew at 8.5% in 2021, 6.5% in 2022, and again we're due to see growth in GDP close to 6% in 2023. And the story uh, uh, continues. We've seen a balanced budget. When other countries have been reeling in deficits, we've seen a balanced budget uh, uh, in Zimbabwe. Since basically 2019, the last five years, that's what we've done. We've seen tight monetary <laughs> policy, positive real interest rates from the central bank. So all the fundamentals are in place for you know making sure that our currency is stable, uh, it is strong. We're dealing with liquidity, uh, as, as, as we should. Central bank is dealing that using uh, non-negotiable certificates of deposits with the right tenure to lock away liquidity from those who may seek to use it in the power market. So every piece of policy that's necessary for a stable currency has been put in place, has been instituted. Uh, it is baffling that there is still a, a parallel market and they still talk of a parallel market. It shouldn't even e exist. We are doing so well 